Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boos, and I'm here to show you the Fireworks Brush Pack for Painter Essentials. There are 10 brushes in this brush pack. I am using Painter 2020 in this video, but they should work the same as you are using them in Painter Essentials. I'm going to show you each brush, of course, but as you can see from this key image, this is a brush pack that's going to help you kind of build up your own fireworks and get creative so that you can kind of take the ownership of the creativity you have for your own fireworks. A lot of firework brushes I've seen across the internet have got a uh, kind of uh, pre-made look and um, it's probably a much harder to take uh, a creative responsibility for some of your own creation or at least what you would like to be. So these brushes are going to help you kind of uh, again have a little more creativity to your fireworks and, and this is the, these are the 10 brushes right here, and I'm going to go down each one of them and show you what each one of them does. So uh, we have Crackle, and this is this one is more of like a ground, ground, you know, fireworks towards the ground. You can you can add them towards the bottom of your picture, create more of a border-like effect. It's kind of got some nice pops, and it wisps out into something nice and thin and expressive. I'm going to go to the next one here, and this is Falling. Now we have in the full version of this pack um, which has five more brushes another brush called bang and this one kind of goes hand in hand in that with that if you do get that brush pack but this is really those those nice big fireworks you see in the sky and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have some nice con controlled strokes that kind of go from low pressure to a lot and it helps you to create your own little firework there and you can go brighter more opacity and then what you can do at the end the reason it's called falling is because you can kind of wiggle it away and give it that falling firework look so you can kind of play around and make your own big explosions in the sky um, and that goes hand in hand with some other brushes as well again you can layer up uh, you know you can even take the last brush and make some cool little effects come off of each firework. So that's kind of the cool part about this brush pack here. The next brush pack is called Flash, and this one is going to be, again, probably best used in smaller doses here. And you can kind of create little wisps and stuff as needed. Again, this one's probably best towards the ground, but you can you know, kind of play the alchemist role in, in using it above and below. And you can, of course, change the color. I recommend stacking up the colors using some nice, cool color theory and colors that you like to see in your fireworks. You can stack those up. And then Fuse is something really cool. I'm actually going to go back. And this brush has some nice sparks to it. So you can go in really any little area and kind of give it that Fuse kind of sparky feel that you get lighting some different fireworks. And jitters is pretty simple but fun. Uh, something, you know, this is just essentials in any kind of fireworks pack where you need something that's kind of sparkly, but I, I kind of wanted to make sure that this one had some uh, more creative outlet. It's got a little more expression to it, a little more randomness, so that, it, again, it gives you a little more creativity with it rather than just a default straight effect. And, again, I still recommend stacking up different colors and and playing with the different colors that you want in your image. So then we have jitters here. Whoops, we already just did that one. Magic, and this one is similar, but it's got a nice hue jitter to it and value jitter. So it gives it some nice uh, depth to your picture, and it's really subtle. So if you want to add some nice jitters towards the background or the foreground, really whatever you want to play with but it's got a nice value jitter so again it gives it that depth as well kind of less work for you there and then we've got rocket and this one is pretty fun I recommend doing these strokes on their own layer and what you can do is you can really do big or small and make things take off if you want a firework to take off and then with a low opacity eraser you can back out of this hard end here if you don't want it and this helps you to create some wisps whether they're small or big so let's go to scatter and this one is kind of fun this one is going to spin all over the place 
It's kind of like our sparkler, but it's got some direction to it. And if you do it on its own layer there, you can again back out of the things that are real hard. So if you zoom in, you can kind of take this and, and uh, see that it's going in different directions, which is where it has that scatter description. Let's go to smoke, and this one's pretty fun. Uh, if I take some something a little less saturated, but within the color that I'm going to be making a stroke over, you can kind of have some smoke that's lit up in the color. So, for example, this little pop of green right here will have some nice smoky strokes but it will look like your firework is lighting that up. So I recommend adding the same color because that's kind of the way that light works. You can do gray, of course, but just giving you a tip, it's, it's unless it's really dense smoke, it's, I think it doesn't look as colorful and playful. And now let's go to up. This one is a simple but fun one. It's really some nice quick rocket kind of streaks that go up and maybe you can add some let's see here some of that big firework effect at the end and you can play with that and again play the alchemist role well that's it for the essentials version of this brush pack if you'd like to see the full 15 brushes of this brush pack there should also be a video for that as well. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing what you guys create with us.